Charles Dodgson shocked some of the locals who lived in Oxford, England in the mid-19th century. He had taken photographs of new children. Even though he had the permission of the children's parents, the gossip hurt. Dodgson certainly didn't want to be remembered for these photographs. He may not have wanted to be remembered as the author of one of the most famous children's books in the world, Alice in Wonderland. He published it under the name Lewis Carroll. Dodgson wanted to be remembered as a distinguished mathematics teacher and author of books on logic, but that was not to be. He is forever known as the Lewis Carroll who wrote the most illogical tale of all, the Alice book. That book came from a boat trip and picnic on July 4th, 1862. On the trip, Mr. Dodgson made up a story to entertain 10-year-old Alice Liddell and her older sister, Lorena. He invented the story as he and another gentleman rode. He made the story about two little girls, the same age and names, who were sitting on a riverbank. The older girl was reading a book, and Alice was bored because the book had no pictures. Alice was looking around when she saw a white rabbit. The rabbit was wearing a little jacket and took a watch from its pocket. Alice was sure she heard the rabbit say, I'm late and keep repeating those words as it scampered away and disappeared down a hole. Alice got up, followed to where the rabbit had disappeared, and as we all know, fell into the hole. Alice held her own while she was underground, but she was severely criticized by nearly every person and creature. The queen was especially hard on her, when Alice said, there is no use trying, one can't believe impossible things. I dare say you haven't had much practice, said the queen. When I was your age, I always did it for half an hour a day. Why, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. So what if Alice didn't have that much imagination? She had something just as important, perseverance. If the real Alice hadn't pestered and cajoled 30-year-old Mr. Dodgson to write down the story he told her on the rowboat excursion, there never would have been a mad tea party, or for goodness sake, even a Humpty Dumpty.